The quaint town of Frosta, Norway, was known for its peaceful atmosphere. It was a place where the air was crisp, the waters clear, and the mountains stood tall, watching over the town like silent guardians. Nestled amidst picturesque landscapes, it was a place where everyone knew their neighbors. The community was tight-knit, with generations of families living side by side, sharing joys and sorrows alike. The tranquility of Frosta, however, hid a dark secret. Beneath the surface of this idyllic town, something sinister was brewing, something that would soon shatter the peace and trust that the residents held dear. A secret that would shake the community to its core. Whispers began to circulate, and the once harmonious gatherings turned into anxious meetings filled with concerned expressions and hushed conversations. Dr. Arne Bai, a respected physician, was accused of heinous crimes. The news came as a shock to everyone who knew him, as he had always been seen as a man of integrity and compassion. Dr. Bai had been a pillar of the community for decades. He was the doctor who had delivered babies, treated illnesses, and provided comfort in times of need. He was trusted, even revered. His contributions to the town were numerous, and he had received several awards for his service. But behind his gentle demeanor, a sinister truth lurked. The man who had been a source of healing and hope was now at the center of a horrifying scandal. Dr. Bai was accused of sexually assaulting his patients, 87 of them. The allegations were staggering, and the community was left reeling, struggling to come to terms with the betrayal. The news spread like wildfire, and the small town of Frosta was thrust into the national spotlight. Media outlets descended upon the town, and the once quiet streets were now filled with reporters and cameras. Victims came forward sharing their harrowing experiences. Their stories were heart-wrenching, and the community was torn between disbelief and outrage. How could someone they trusted so deeply commit such atrocities? The case went to trial, and the courtroom was packed with residents seeking justice. Dr. Bai maintained his innocence, but the evidence against him was overwhelming. As the trial progressed, the town of Frosta began to heal. Support groups were formed and the community came together to rebuild the trust that had been shattered. It was a long and painful process, but the resilience of the townspeople shone through. In the end, Frosta emerged stronger, a testament to the strength and unity of its people. The dark secret that once threatened to destroy them became a catalyst for change, and the town moved forward with a renewed sense of hope and determination. Initially, the accusations were mere whispers. People struggled to believe them. How could their beloved doctor, their confidant, be capable of such acts? As more alleged victims came forward, the whispers grew louder. Denial turned to outrage. The community was divided. Some refused to believe the accusations, staunchly defending their doctor. Others felt betrayed, their trust shattered. The allegations against Dr. Bai were met with immediate action. The authorities launched a full-scale investigation. Police interviewed countless potential victims. They meticulously gathered evidence. Medical records were scrutinized. The investigation was complex, spanning decades of Dr. Bai's career. The sheer number of alleged victims was staggering. As the investigation progressed, a chilling pattern emerged. Dr. Bai's alleged abuse was calculated and predatory. He used his position of power to exploit his patients. He preyed on their vulnerabilities, their fears. He manipulated them into believing his actions were medically necessary. His deceit was profound, his betrayal unforgivable. Section 5, A Community in Shock. The revelations of Dr. Bai's alleged crimes sent shockwaves through Frosta. The community reeled in disbelief and anger. The sense of betrayal was palpable. Many felt ashamed, questioning how they had failed to see the truth. Support groups were formed for the victims. The community rallied around them, offering comfort and solidarity. The healing process was slow and painful. The scars of Dr. Bai's alleged crimes ran deep. Section 6, Justice Demanded. The victims, emboldened by their collective strength, demanded justice. They refused to let Dr. Bai's alleged crimes go unpunished. They wanted their voices heard. They wanted accountability. The trial was eagerly anticipated. It was more than just a legal proceeding. It was a symbol of hope for the victims. It was a chance for them to reclaim their lives, their dignity. Section 7. Inside the courtroom. The courtroom is a place where justice is sought, 
and today it is the center of a high-profile trial that has captured the attention of the entire nation. The trial of Dr. Arnie Bai was a media sensation. Cameras flashed, and reporters jostled for the best positions, eager to capture every moment of this gripping legal drama. The courtroom was packed with journalists, legal experts, and concerned citizens. Every seat was taken, and the air was thick with the weight of the proceedings. The atmosphere was tense, heavy with anticipation. The silence was almost palpable, broken only by the occasional rustle of papers or the soft murmur of whispered conversations. The victims bravely took the stand. Each one stepped forward with a mixture of courage and trepidation, ready to share their stories in the hope of finding justice. They shared their harrowing stories, their voices trembling with emotion. Each testimony painted a vivid picture of the pain and suffering they had endured. Their testimonies were powerful, heartbreaking, and impossible to ignore. The courtroom was often silent, the gravity of their words hanging in the air. The trial of Dr. Arn Bai has captured the attention of the nation. News outlets from across the country have descended upon the courthouse, turning it into a focal point of national interest. The courtroom is filled to capacity, reflecting the widespread interest and concern over this case. People from all walks of life have come to witness the proceedings, each one hoping for a resolution that brings justice. The victims' testimonies were the heart of the trial, each one a poignant reminder of the deep impact of Dr. Bai's alleged actions. Their words resonated deeply, leaving an indelible mark on everyone present. The judge listened intently, his expressions serious and focused. The jury members took notes, their faces reflecting the weight of their responsibility. Even the courtroom sketch artist captured the intensity of the moment. The legal teams were in constant motion, presenting evidence, cross-examining witnesses, and making their arguments. The defense attorney worked tirelessly to cast doubt on the prosecution's case, while the prosecution team meticulously built their narrative. The audience reacted to each twist and turn of the trial, their emotions visible on their faces. Some whispered to each other, while others sat in stunned silence, absorbing the gravity of the situation. As the trial neared its conclusion, the closing arguments were made. The judge addressed the courtroom, reminding everyone of the importance of justice and the rule of law. The final moments of the trial were charged with emotion, as everyone awaited the verdict. Outside the courthouse, the media continued to cover the story, interviewing attendees and capturing their reactions. The trial of Dr. Arnie Bai had not only been a legal battle, but also a profound societal event, leaving a lasting impact on all who witnessed it. Section 8. The Verdict After weeks of intense legal proceedings, the jury reached a verdict. Dr. Arne Bai was found guilty on multiple counts of sexual assault. The courtroom erupted in gasps and sobs. Justice had been served. The verdict was a victory for the victims. It was a testament to their courage and resilience. It sent a powerful message. Abusers would be held accountable for their actions. Section 9. Life After the Verdict The guilty verdict brought a sense of closure to Frosta, but the healing process was far from over. The community was left to grapple with the aftermath of Dr. Bai's crimes. The victims continued their journeys of healing and recovery. The community rallied around them, offering support and understanding. Section 10. Scars That Remain Despite the verdict, the scars of Dr. Bai's abuse ran deep. The sense of betrayal lingered, trust was broken. The community was left to rebuild, to learn from the devastating experience. The case sparked a national conversation about sexual assault. It highlighted the importance of believing victims. It emphasized the need for accountability and justice. Section 11. Seeking Closure In the heart of Frosta, a small town with a big spirit, the community gathers to remember, to mourn, and to find solace in each other's company. The Frosta case serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of human nature. It was a case that shook the very foundations of this close-knit community, revealing the depths of betrayal and the scars of abuse. It is a story of betrayal, abuse, and the resilience of the human spirit. The victims, once silenced by fear, found their voices and stood together, demanding justice and change. Their courage ignited a movement within Frosta, a call for accountability and healing. The community of Frosta, forever changed by the experience, continues to heal. 
Memorials and vigils have become a common sight as people come together to honor those affected and to support one another in their journey towards recovery. They seek closure, understanding, and a future free from the shadows of the past. Through group therapy sessions and community gatherings, they share their stories, their pain, and their hopes for a brighter tomorrow. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of hope, justice, and the unbreakable bonds of community. The people of Frosta have shown that even in the face of unimaginable hardship, the human spirit can prevail. They continue to fight for justice, to support one another, and to rebuild their lives, proving that together they are stronger.